So last time we were talking about soybeans, we went through the R1 and the R2 growth stages, which involved the flowers on the plant. Basically, R1 was a flower anywhere on the main stem starting to emerge, and R2 was a flower on one of the top two nodes. And in that video, I recommended switching to the node counting method rather than the Pedersen trifoliate method. So in this case, this would be our top node, this would be our second node, and again, you can see the flowers here. What you notice on this plant is that some of these flowers are starting to senesce and we're getting the start of pods to form. And so basically what happens at the R3 growth stage is at one of the top four nodes, so one, two, three, or four, at the R3 growth stage you have at least one pod that is at least three sixteenths of an inch in length. And so if we take our ruler, we can take a look at these pods here. And basically what we see is this one is at 3 sixteenths of an inch. Just shy of one quarter of an inch. So this would be entering into the R3 growth stage. So after the plant has been growing past the R3 growth stage for a little while, those pods continue to expand and extend. And basically that signals us entering into the R4 growth stage. So if we look at the plant and look at the top four nodes, the reproductive nodes here, this would be node one, node two, node three, and node four, we notice some of these pods are starting to get fairly long. And so the trigger to switch from the R3 growth stage to the R4 growth stage is when these pods become at least three quarters of an inch in length at one of the top four nodes. And so we have a few pods here. This pod just exceeds three quarters of an inch. It's approaching one inch in length. And on this plant, we also have a second pod that is three quarters of an inch, just a little bit beyond that. So this plant itself would be at the R4 growth stage. So at the R5 growth stage, we again look at the top reproductive nodes, but the next stage indicator is the size of the bean inside the pod. And so there's a few different ways you can do this. You can either take the bean off, and if you have a nice sunny day, you can actually hold the bean up and look at how it's backlit to try to measure the seeds. Or the other way that's probably a little bit more reliable is to split this, the pod open. So as you split the pod open, you can see the beans forming inside of the pod. And so the trigger to go to the, the R5 growth stage is these beans themselves are at at least one eighth of an inch in length. So if we take a measurement here, these beans are just at one eighth of an inch in length. And so I would consider this plant to be at the R5 growth stage. When they've reached the R6 growth stage, or full seed, the seeds within the pod have filled it to capacity. And this is occurring on at least one pod on the top four reproductive nodes of the plant. And so once you've achieved this stage, you have transitioned into the R6 growth stage. 